as you can see from the footage uh, we've come down here early we're here on Friday and uh, Rob's just taken us for a run in his force and from the footage you can see we just did a, a lap up to where the finish is to where they're gonna hold us before they uh, get everyone together to turn around and do their lap back a couple of spots there where you can see other boats also testing as well it's gonna make for a great weekend the river's pristine it's such a beautiful river to go down and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody else's boats do the best that they can down there Here with the Sonic Tunnel Deck with David Kissel. He's running this on the Double Dash tomorrow. We we're just saying he's just polishing his uh, Genie bottle, and his three wishes are that it starts, that it goes good, and that it comes back on the trailer in one piece. Hey, eh, mate. That's it, mate. Yeah. So you've done some testing today. What what was your best speed today in your testing? Um, 93 was today. Yeah. Um, on the track. Um, hadn't seen the track before so you couldn't really take too many tight corners or whatever but I was happy with the speed uh, the performance was good It'd be a good race good race tomorrow there's a lot of competitors here yeah I'm looking forward to it early start in the morning but I think we've got to be here at six yeah um, the fogs around till about seven I think it's what is it? it's 25 K's there and 25 K's back so I'll stay under the 95 yeah and um make smart decisions yeah that's it the river is really nice like once that fog lifts the conditions are absolutely everything you want them to be david's let me put a few cameras on his boat so we'll be able to take you along for the ride as he said he's going in the 95 mile per hour class so he's up there with the big boys the fast boys and his motor it's a two liter isn't it two liter sst 120. so she's singing she's still a carby i love me carbies but uh, he's holding it down for the Carby boys, so I love that. And uh, stick around, because you're going to get to see some awesome footage of David racing.
Boats in the Hood coming to you live here at Hawkesbury River. I'm here with Angelo. He's the sea called Marine Man himself. How are you, boy? Yeah, Angelo, how are you? Going well. You ready for today or what? Ready as we can be. Yeah, awesome. Ready so, for a big day? Yeah, yeah, ready for a big day. It's good to come down your neck of the woods and, and see what it's all about on the river. Good to have you, man. It's yeah, awesome. Yeah, and um, if you haven't already, jump on YouTube and check out Angelo, Sea Call Marine. He's got appreciate some awesome it. videos there of the boys down here ripping it and really trimming it high. It. And uh, we we'll should come and do a collab. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, man. Looking and likewise, forward. come up our way as well. We've got plenty of boats there for you. Looking forward to it. And uh, wishing you the best on the race, brother. Lefty state of origin on the water. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stick around. <laughs> David Kissel, looks like he's going to be dropping in in some of the first heats. How are you feeling on race day, mate? Uh, a bit nervous, to be honest with you. Hopefully they drag, they get rid of all the debris in the, in, in the water. We'll see how we go at the end. I think it will be a good day. Um, a lot of boats here, there's like 80 plus boats. So getting them into the water from the boat ramp be a little bit of an issue. But um, first time for me doing a river race and only do circuit racing. So be an experience. And, I'll still enjoy it no matter what happens. Yeah, no, that's awesome, mate. And as you've seen yesterday on Saturday, we've cleaned the boat, we've polished the genie bottle, we've 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 asked for our three wishes, and those three wishes are going to be granted. And uh, we've got some we've got a camera on David's boat, and um, we're going to catch all the action from start to finish. And uh, fingers crossed, he does really well and represents the Gold Coast, Queensland and Brisbane fellas to the best of his ability. So best of luck, Dave. So I'm here with Sean and he's the Commodore of the Upper Hawkesbury, it's the Powerboat Club. Powerboat Club, yep. Yep, and um, I just want to say thank you. I've come all the way down from uh, Queensland to be a part of this event. Cool. And uh, the, the river down here, it's second to none. And the event that he's put together it's impeccable, I can't fold it at all. The way that it's organised, it's so thorough. I think there's nearly 100 competitors, all very well organised. And not only that, but the facilities, it's all been first class. And not only that, all the rescue boats and uh, everything that's going to be put together to make this race so professional and safe. Um, I just have to commend you on your efforts, mate. You know, we, and we just want to thank all our competitors for supporting the event too. Without the competitors, there is no event. Um, as we said in our briefing before, it's been four years because of floods and COVID, and um, you know we've got more numbers this year than we had in the in the in our previous year. So we can't be happier. And again, thank you guys. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Cheers, Cheers Sean. No worries, mate. He's on miles. Good, brother. good luck, brother. You too, bro. Have a good one. All the best. Here he is, the king of trim himself. <laughs> hey, all the best, brother. Thanks, mate. You ready for it? Yeah, ready. Yeah, sweet. So you're just gonna sit it on the ass the whole way, or what? Yeah, I'll see if it does. It's a 28 <laughs> break on it, but I'll see. Yeah, no. Good luck, man. to the ramp we're going passenger with Rob Blow he's F19 force we've got the 250 Evan route I don't mind the sound of these things they got a zing they're a lot different to a Merc Merc's more crappy but these Evan roads to be honest I haven't seen too many Evan roads broken down which is a good thing so We've got a little bit of light rain here at the moment. Um, hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. With the speeds we pull, it should um, all blow away from our vision and line of sight. How you feeling, Rob? Thumbs up. Believe it or not, it's actually started hailing. 
We're here about to launch down in the boat ramp and Rob decides to lose the key. I didn't lose it, technically. Yeah, he didn't lose it. I suggested that he gets a Prince Albert piercing and then has a uh, rope which goes from that to his key next time.
so you've done one leg of the race yep. up to Saxville here. Give us a rundown on your 95 mile per hour class. There's uh, five boats in my class. There's two inboards um, and three outboards. Really, really fast boats. Um, this morning the conditions were, were pretty, pretty harsh because of the fog and the rain. We had to wait about 20 minutes um, in the rain before we could start. Then when we started, uh, the visors kept on fogging up. So um, very hard to see um, the corners and what was in the, in the water, but um, still maintained a good speed all the way through. I think I'd start on about 90, 90 mile an hour. Yep. And um, backed it down to about uh, 82 to 85 around certain hairpin corners. Um, yeah, it was difficult because of the conditions, but overall, made it through the first leg. Um, unscathed, boat's still running. That's um, it. Only used half a tank, so that's good. It's got to make it home. And um, most of all, enjoy the day. Yeah, yeah, so looking forward to, like you said, the weather's cleared up a lot. So I wish you the best of luck, mate. And uh, let's hope those three wishes come true. Yep, that's Cheers, it. Cheers, mate.
game, we had a go at the double dash. We came, we saw, we conquered. Thanks for letting me come along as a passenger. Welcome, mate. Um, it's good to experience the double dash and the Hawkesbury River. It's a great event. And uh, unfortunately, Rob was too fast for his class. Uh, we're in the 85 mile per hour class and on the way down we broke out with an 86 and on the way back we also broke out with an 86 <laughs> so um but yeah I have a word to him about having an 87 mile an hour class. <laughs> but you'll see in the footage it's definitely a handful with the conditions and uh rob's got hydraulic steering on this so he's always trying to catch it and sometimes over correcting it so that can be a a bit of a handful trying to really grasp the feel of it all in all it was a great event and it was great to be um involved in coming up and down the river and uh you reckon you'll be back next year rob for sure bigger and better bigger and better he reckons so we're here with dave out of sonic racing and uh you made it back in one piece mate your, your, your wishes came true yeah made it back uh didn't break anything uh, it was a good run um, had some nice clean water, got a bit squeezed out at the start on the first couple of turns. Other than that, I just sat back there and just tried to pick the right lines. Um, by about halfway through, there were a, you know, a fair bit in front. So I had some good clean stuff then, so I just tried to you know, straight line the corners and uh, just do my best to get back in a good time. I didn't break out over 95, I did 92.5. So happy with that, and I'm back in one piece and had a ball. Yeah, are you going to come back next year or Oh, what? yeah, definitely come back next year. It's awesome to see so many good boats and uh, come to a, a new event and a new place and get to see some new water. Stay tuned because uh, Dave's from up around our hood and he's got another nice boat as well. He wants to take us for a spin in that. It's an ultimate yeah. twin rig. Probably seen it in some of the other social videos where we get together, we're going to do a segment on that. Yeah, but you're going to drive it. No, yeah. yeah, I won't say no to driving it. Good to see you, Dave, and thanks for coming down to represent us. Not too easy.